Hello friends. Today I'm excited to share with you a new case knife that I added to my humble collection this weekend. And also I would like to share with you why this kid in me, well, is kind of upset. So you see, I took a little road trip to visit my mom for Thanksgiving and I decided it would be fun to stop at all the Ace Hardware stores along the way and see if I can find a, uh, a new case knife to add to my collection. And in doing so, I put together this short video I would like to share with you about all the treasures and disappointments I discovered along the way. And of course, I'll show the unboxing of my beautiful new case knife. You're not going to want to miss that, so stay to the end. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share the video with any of your friends that would be interested in this same kind of content. It's what keeps the channel going. Thank you. So this story begins many years ago, as my fondness for knives began at, well, a fairly young age. You see, we did not have places like Lowe's or Home Depot back then, and my dad and his dad relied on the local hardware store for just about all our home repair needs. And uh, there was absolutely no way Dad was not taking me to the hardware store with him, or he was going to be in for a world of hurt when he got home. And that is because these stores were a total treasure chest for a kid like me. They had all kinds of fishing gear, all kinds of hunting gear, and of course the uh, enchanting knives locked up in those glass displays. And if we left that store without one of those shiny new blades in my pocket, well, I would be on the war path for the rest of the day. And skipping forward to November 2023, Thanksgiving weekend, as I travel the roadways to go visit my mom for Thanksgiving, I kept my eye out for any local hardware stores that might have some shiny blades waiting to go in my pocket. And I'm going to share with you what I found. The first store was the Ace Hardware in Riverview, Florida. And let's take a look and see what their display looked like in that store. So six or seven years ago, I had been in the store, and they actually had a pretty nice case display. Uh, it was a little bit smaller than this one, but it was full of a lot of different models for case knives. Now, this display here is much larger, and I was actually surprised of all the variety of knives they have. They got Kershaw, M&P, Buck... A bunch of no-name brands, a bunch of Gerber stuff, even this old-timer, which I can't believe an old-timer is $54. But, um, oh, look at this. They got the BBs, the CO2 cartridges. Man, when I was 12 years old, I'd be loading up on all this stuff. You know, some garbage stuff in here, some watches and some junk, I don't know. Play knives. Um, yeah, like I said, you know. They got a bunch of gerber stuff down there, some multi-tools and some, you know, those are good knives for people who are just looking for a pocket knife while they're doing a project. But back to the quality knives, looks like everything of quality is right here on this shelf. Uh, they got a nice buck there and uh, just a couple buck knives. So not really a whole lot of selection there. So a little bit disappointed. Time to move on. The next store is the Sun City store, which looks like they just moved into a brand new building that's beautiful. They got the same large case, but look at this. Samurai swords up top, huh? How cool is that? Case knives, kind of limited. Got this stockman there. Got this uh, trapper with the red jig bone. Synthetic sod buster here. And, uh... Oh, that looks like another stockman there. And this little two-bladed peanut. Kind of like this one. But um, decided I was going to pass on it. And of course they have the Kershaw. They got Buck. Some Smith & Wesson. Some of the same no-name stuff as the Riverview store. But um, 
I don't know, a couple cooler, like this Boker Magnum here. And then, of course, the 119. And that's not a bad price for 119. Nobody can complain about that. So, Leatherman. Either way, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, everything what they need. But I'm looking for case knives. And it's just, it's not a very big selection. So, time to move on. And I found this Ace Hardware in Arcadia. Now, while it was a beautiful, huge, fully stocked store, it had that old school feel to it and they had a nice display of case knives even though I feel like they've been picked through already because of Christmas coming up soon a lot of empty spots but still nice selection even some fixed blade honey knives in there there's a bear head slimline tracker sod buster vingre blade that's a beautiful red bone trapper up there i'm not sure what this one here is but it's a nice looking knife too and I even got a little another display down bottom with some beautiful sod busters that harley davidson knife's gorgeous another beautiful trapper there sway back yeah, some kind of pro hunting fixed blade back there i can't tell exactly what it is but look at that one there that one's pretty huh uh, moving back up, I got that big old folding hunter right there. Look at that a rust lock, a copper lock, some kind of bear head, something. A red knives, pretty. And since this store was so helpful, I decided to leave them with one less knife in their display because it's in my pocket now. All right, so you have to watch the end of the video to find out which one I got. Moving on to the next place. We had quite a bit of drive ahead of me, but uh, let me ask you, does this lake look familiar to you? Well, it should. Remember that movie Lake Placid where that old lady fed the alligator and it ate everybody in town? Well, this is it. Check it out. You know, I think that might be that damn gator right there. Look at it. I don't know, but hopefully this Lake Placid will hold more surprises than just a big gator, huh? We will see. Oh, look, there's some Western wear. Don't need any of that. Here is what I'm looking for right here. Check this out. WW Lumber Ace Hardware. This is where I got my copper lock. I got on Father's Day. Right here. That was the Warncliffe Copper Lock, an orange pattern, beautiful knife. I know they have two nice displays here, so let's go on in here and check those out. I'm excited. Let's start with the first case here. There's a couple of those leather-handled honey knives, sod busters, some of the Morcano knives. Look at that one. That one there has got a uh, bottle opener or can opener or something. That's a pretty one there. A the large stockman. I like that one too. That's a nice knife. Yes, a couple unique patterns here. Uh, nothing there. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Look at that. Got a fish knife in there. Check out the other side here. Alright, so. There is that Warncliffe copper lock that I bought. They still have that one. And there's a cheetah next to it. Look at that cheetah. Pretty cool, huh? Sod buster. Da, da, da. There's a couple. There's a trapper. Look at that large copper lock with the blue handle. That's a nice knife. Now that one there. That's the one that kind of ticks me off. I didn't really catch that one. Look at that top one. That large sod buster and that peach color. Looks like it was only 46 bucks. I should have snagged that one. Some pretty knives. That's a pretty one there. These are pretty cool, but not my cup of tea. I'm not looking for that. Even though the one with the fish emblem on it, I kind of like that one. That was pretty, but I don't like smooth bone. There's a couple smooth bone patterns out this year. Look at that. That's a pretty knife right there. I'm not sure what that is. 
That red jig bone's nice. No smooth bone. Smooth bone. I like the blue, but I don't know. I think I'll spend my money on something else. A couple more down here. A little hard to see because of the dust. I tell you, I don't like stuff on the blades. I don't like that. So, no, I didn't get anything there at m, &M Hardware. But um, the guys are really nice. You know, I do regret not getting that Peach Large Sod Buster, but um, maybe next time it'll still be there. Check out these Gremlins or Pacers or whatever they are for sale. There's Gatorama. Look how they, they always pack them in. There's always a ton of cars there. And uh, then, of course, we pass the rivers here, which are gorgeous. Check them out. I turned around and filmed the other side so you can see what they look like on the north side of the road. Pretty cool. Did that just for you. There's that Ace Hardware truck. Going the wrong direction. Clewiston Ace Hardware. Stopped in to check it out. And let me tell you, all they had was a case of crap. Clewiston, case of crap. Shame on you. Get some real knives. Now on through the sea of sugar cane for the next 40 minutes before we got back into Pembroke Pines. And I stopped at a tractor supply company. This is actually the third tractor supply company I stopped at on the way back from Tampa. And all three empty. And that is why the inner kid in me was extremely disgusted by the current availability of Case Knives. Case and Ace need to step it up and continue their partnership in supplying us these knives. And us as fans need to support both of these American companies before we lose them forever. So my current collection consists of this beautiful persimmon orange bone peach seed jig sodbuster junior. This copper lock in molasses. It is a 1999 model. And that's a pretty nice knife, but it does have a rounded tip here as one of my fans pointed out. We'll have to fix that. And then we also have this beautiful pocket worn harvest orange bone corn cob jib copper lock. And uh, it has that worn cliff blade. And it's beautiful too. Check it out. Alright, so that's my current collection right now. I lost a lot of knives over the years. And uh, this is all I have left. So I'm trying to rebuild my collection. And that is why I went on my quest. I did. So. Let's check out the new knife. Alright, so this knife, I got it Ace Hardware in Arcadia. And if you check the video, you'll see it in the case there when I originally filmed it. And um, this is the Hunter Green Bone Deep Canyon Jig Sodbuster Jr. Uh, 5137 and the stainless steel. And it's got a date of December 2nd of 2022. So it's a little bit around for a little while. And let's unbox it. And while we do, I just want to state the three knives above all have their own video on my playlist. So if you check out my uh, knife review playlist, you will find a dedicated video to each one of those individual knives up top there. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Now look at this beauty, huh? Right, let's get this box out of the way real quick and we're going to take an up close and personal look at what I think is just a gorgeous addition to my collection. And let's enjoy this knife together. Yeah, look at that, huh? That deep canyon jig. Well, that's something that's beautiful. It's a little stiff. Let's get the uh, fingerprints off of it here. Okay. 
Okay. If you notice, this one doesn't have a, a case emblem on either side. There's a, one side of the blade there you can see. Case XX. And the other side. Get that in focus. Stainless steel. And the model number. This thing really just stuck out to me in the case. I mean, it was like a, a magnet. And I've said this before. I don't wear watches. I don't wear necklaces. My bling is a nice knife. And uh, this one right here really fits the bill. I think it's gorgeous. How they get these colors like this, I do not know. What I like too about these sod busters is they don't have the uh, the nickel bolsters at the end. It's more they call a bare head, and I think it's just more attractive that way. Here's the blade. Get that in focus. Now some of my subscribers, they always complain about the case knives don't come sharp out of the box. So let's see if they're right or wrong. A piece of paper here. Yeah. I think there is some merit to their comments, but Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Get out my leather strop. If you haven't seen my video on using a leather strop to sharpen your knives, please check out my playlist on sharpening knives and see where it says sharpen your knife for $20. It's, uh, it's well, well worth taking a look at that video. I think you'll enjoy it. So we're going to give this thing Ten or so passes on each side. Now, don't go thinking on Speedy Gonzales or anything. I just sped this up for the video so you didn't have to sit through the whole process. But, uh, you get the gist. Alright, so. Put it on the smooth side. Make sure we really get that edge nice and polished. Not a lot of pressure, just... Making sure to drag it on the leather. Alright, and the knife will tell us when it's ready. And we gotta clean all that compound and residue off of there. And yeah, it feels a lot better. Got some green crap right there. Let me get that off. Alright. A little bit more on there. Okay, so let's try this bad boy out, see if it's any better. There you go. Yeah. I don't know, I think I still might have one spot. Let me see here. Oh, do I? I think I might have to sit down with this blade and give it a little TLC. There's definitely a little nick. I'm going to use my little microscopic magnifier and inspect the blade before I do. That'll be a, uh, a separate video. It's good enough for now. This is uh, not a carry knife. This one just is going to go in the display case. So, All right. Enough of that. Now, I also noticed that the, uh, the knife was a little stiff. Yeah, it's got a little bit of dust in there, so... From sitting in the case for a year and nobody taking care of it, that's what happened, so... Let's see? Snappy. It's just a little stiff there. Alright, let's see what we can do about that. Let me grab my little needle oiler here. And let's give it a little bit of lube. Pivot point. 
Let's get on the back side. Work that a little bit. Maybe add a little bit more. Right in there. All right, so this is my Pro Shot Zero Friction Needle Oiler. I like that. I use it on my knives. You've seen me use it before, but you got to make sure you put this cap back on or it'll dry off in that needle and you'll have to take a torch or something and heat it up to get it to oil again. Alright, so let's clean this baby up. I tell you, I just can't get over that coloring. And I really like this deep jig, deep canyon jig pattern. Look at that. I'm going to have to look at that pattern and do some searches to see if there's any other knives with that pattern. Or with this color, because I definitely want them for my collection. That's the problem with case knives, though. So once they make them, they're gone. You know, having to pay twice as much on eBay. Sometimes you get lucky. I'll do a search tonight. Let you know if I find anything else. Let's look how they compare. So here is the Sodbuster Peach Jigged. You can see how that is way shallower. Totally different texture. Now my molasses copper lock from 1999 doesn't say what kind of jig it is. But it is pocket worn. And uh, it's only jigged in the center there, very shallow. Now this pocket worn harvest worn bone corn cob jig copper lock. I love the looks of it, but it's way shallower too. So if you look at the box, this one is very proud. It says right on there, you know, deep canyon jigged bone. And um, they're proud of that, so it's beautiful. So I didn't know that pattern existed, but now I do. And we will look for more. And if I find any, I will definitely share whatever knife I get with you, my subscribers. So please, tell me what you think. Do you think this is a pretty knife? Do you think I did well? Was my search a success or was it in vain? Do you do similar searches? Do you stop at Ace Hardware and try to pick a, you up a shiny new case knife? And do you get frustrated as I do sometimes that they're not available? Does your inner child come out? If so, give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it to your friends. And don't forget to enter my November knife giveaway. Drawing is December 1st for a pair of beautiful Buck Folding Hunter and Folding Lightweight pocket knives. This could be yours December 1st. If you subscribe, watch the video on these knives, and comment on that video, I want these knives. You could be the lucky winner. Thanks for viewing.